Hey guys, welcome back to the third part of my 3D integration from Cinema 4D to After Effects. So if you have missed the part 1 and part 2, I suggest you to watch the part 1 and part 2. Why? Because if you are re if you are viewing the part 2 directly, then you may not understand what's going on here. So let's jump into the tutorial. Audio jump. Jungle. Let's import our rendered sequence. Yeah, go to desktop. Uh, go to rooftop sequence. Yeah, this is our rendered sequence. And select the first frame, so the first picture, and check the JPEG sequence. Click on import. Yeah, it's imported. And import this footage. Yeah. Here is our footage. Yes, but here there are two problems. Why so with the pillar? Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! Let's get back. See here the pillar. The shadow is on the pillar, so it may not get that much reality. So the shadow is behind the pillar. Why behind the pillar? So to get rid of that. Simply import our base footage. Uh, go to software. Actually, go to a footage location. Yeah, here, and keep it on the top of the layer. Simply, what I'm going to tell you is, uh, maybe here. Oh no, no. Not from here. Yeah, from here. And double click here and make sure oh, make sure that your resolution is full and go to layer and hit rotoscope. Yep. And cut this layer. Oh frame rate mismatch for best rotor brush. Set the composition panel to twenty nine point nine seven FPS. Okay, no problem. Go to the compositing settings and make it to twenty nine point nine seven. Click OK. Hit OK. Yes. I'm going to scale it down. Yeah. Draw here. Oh. Let's close this and select this one. Double click here. And rotoscope here. Ah, uh, okay. Now double click here and go to click on rotoscope. Yeah, and cut the layer which we want. Yeah. Select here. Go to next frame. And I'm going to next frame, frame, frame. Go to frame by frame and cut this pillar. Uh, okay guys, now I'm rotoscoped my pillar, so simply close this layer and select this pillar and click on make sure the timeline is here and press on your keyboard R plus left bracket. Yes. See here the the shadow is behind the pillar. So oh here the rotoscope is not perfect. Mm. Yeah, I can crack the sequence. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, for now it's good. Uh oh, here the car is not appearing. So simply, you have to do. Uh, wait for a few seconds. Uh, 
select the select the video layer and click on all plus left bracket boom we are here yeah okay we cannot see any shadow on the pillar uh, actually I had roughly done this job so you can get the smooth edges simply by increasing the feather to somewhat 10 percent yeah if here the pillar is too smooth ah uh, <coughs> okay yeah it's perfect but here and then the another problem is with the shadow the shadow is not on the car it's behind the, it's beneath the car so what you want to do here is simply yeah this frame okay and let's Im let's import our video once again and click alt plus left bracket yeah and again double click on the man Oh, wait until the picture loads perfectly. Ah, okay. To rotoscope this one, and now we have to uh, we have to cut the shadow layer and okay. Repeat the same process which we done to the pillar. I had done it, so I'm not doing it here again. So you repeat it and keep that. Yeah. And here, there's a problem with this. The shadow is highly dominating the background plane. Okay, to get rid of that, simply I'm pressing T on my keyboard. Oh, first of all, rename this as the shadow, and renaming this. Uh, oh, back. Rename this as oh shit. Rename it as the uh, pillar. Okay, okay. And the shadow is dominant in the background. Simply, we have to do press T on your keyboard. Then it will reveal the opacity of the shadow layer. Simply decrease the shadow to fifty percent. Ah uh, no, make it twenty five. Yeah, cool. I think yeah, it's cool. yes and now uh, the shadow is falling on the car so yeah okay guys anyway this is a process of importing the cinema 4d models into after effects and keeping them into real life so i had make another video missile strike uh, if you want to view it see, let's view it how it is yeah okay anyway my next tutorial is going to be this one how to create a missile strike a realistic missile strike and uh, real fires and explosions okay okay guys anyway my name is Bert Kumar from motion studio I hope you guys all enjoy this tutorial and learn something new from this if you like this video hit the like button and give a thumbs up and share this video to all the world and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to our channel to so get updated whenever we upload a new tutorials. And thanks for watching.